Singapore and global semiconductor firm Global Foundries will invest $120 million over four years in a next generation RAM technology that's critical in the country's push towards becoming a smart nation. Now, the technology known as re-RAM is said to be much faster than conventional RAM and stores more data in a smaller physical space. Brandon Tonotto tells us more. So what exactly is RERAM? Now, a RERAM is theoretically a memory chip that is the size of a postage stamp or even smaller, something like this. Now, it's much smaller than the current flash memory chips that are being used in smartphones today. And a RERAM is able to store much more data and read data at even faster speeds. But more importantly, it consumes 20 times less energy than the current flash memory chip that's being used today. So what that means is that if a RERAM is fitted into a smartphone, that smartphone on a traditional additional 100% battery charge would theoretically last 20 times longer than one that is fitted with a current flash memory chip. The technology can be used in autonomous vehicles, artificial intelligence and home sensors, for example, and it will be researched and developed in Singapore. Under a partnership, Nanyang Technological University will lead the research project, while Global Foundries will provide support on the engineering front. The National Research Foundation, or NRF, will oversee and support the efforts. The money will be used to pay for expertise and the use of facilities. The goal is to lead to commercial application, which will help drive the nation's digital transformation. Speaking at the agreement signing, Deputy Prime Minister Heng Swee Kit, who is also the NRF's chairman, said the agreement is Singapore's largest corporate research partnership with academia and encouraged more companies across different industries to form similar partnerships. Such research partnerships help to retain high-value advanced manufacturing as a core pillar of our economy as we move towards an innovation-driven future. This is one way that our investments in R&D can be translated into more good jobs for our people. It gives the students uh, opportunities to train in an area that is projected to grow significantly over the coming years, in an area that has implications for many aspects of fourth industrial revolution. The semiconductor industry employs about 35,000 people in Singapore, accounting for more than 7% of the country's GDP. It is also one of the largest industries within the manufacturing sector.